Hi, this is Rafael and welcome to this video tutorial on using Perfectly Clear Lab. I'm going to show you the key components of the user interface that will help you correct images automatically in no time. But first, let me describe for you in general the workflow that Perfectly Clear Lab uses. Perfectly Clear Lab uses a hot folder workflow, which means that input folders are always active waiting for work. A channel consists of the input folder, the output folder, and the optional original folder. The input folder for a particular channel is where uncorrected images are added to Perfectly Clear Lab. When the channel is started, the images are automatically detected, corrected, and sent to the output folder of the channel. If the original folder has been created, it will contain a copy of the original images. Now you can use the corrected images to fulfill your product or service, and the original images can be archived for further use. Now let's open Perfectly Clear Lab by clicking on the icon on Perfectly Clear Lab. Double click on that icon, continue to lab, and now you can see the Perfectly Clear Lab user interface, which I'm going to expand. We will take a look at the key components of the main screen, dashboard, or user interface. You can call it anything you want, but this is a screen that will allow you to monitor what is happening with your images as they get corrected by Perfectly Clear Lab. As you can see, there is no interface to look at each image. We provide you seven channels that have been set up as starting points for you to evaluate the results and modify further to meet your quality targets. So you can change these channels and make your own. You can create as many channels as you want, but our recommendation is that you want to have one master channel that will deal with all your images. We recommend that you use vivid details as your starting point. We will discuss channels further in a separate a video that will show you how to create these channels. The user interface was created to be like a dashboard that will let you know the status of the corrected image in each channel. So here is the status column. It lets you know the channels that are working and the channels that are not working. If you want to start a channel, just highlight the channel and press start stop. It will show the running in under the status bar. And uh, as long as that thing is running, any images that come in into the input folder will be corrected and taken to the output folder. I can stop it by just hitting start stop. Let me quickly show you the software in action. This new software version allows me to drag this file that contains 10 images into the vivid channel, or I could copy these images into the input folder. It is very easy. Now I can start the channel. I can highlight the channel and press start stop. You can see the images being corrected and please notice that the text file which was included in that folder was skipped. Now you can find your images in the output folder for Vivid. It is that simple. The system menu in the top will allow you to see the preset and channel information for your system. In addition, it contains additional information that should be checked in order to maximize the use of the software. There is more information in the manual about each option and we will review how to create a preset and a channel in a separate video. When you click on the folders in the lower right hand corner of the dashboard, you will have access to all the folders used by Perfectly Clear Lab. You will notice that each folder is associated with two or three folders. Note that the folders are listed in alphabetical order. You can learn more about how to set up the folders for each channel in a separate video. When you click over the support button on the lower left hand corner, you will get immediate access to the PDF manual under help. You can watch video tutorials like this one you're watching right now, or you can contact us for support. Please remember we're here to help you. The exit button in the lower right hand will allow you to exit Perfectly Clear App and it will stop any working process. Remember that Perfectly Clear Lab can run in the background automatically and there is no need to exit. This concludes the video on how to use Perfectly Clear Lab. Please read the manual for more detailed information. We have some additional videos that will expand on the features of Perfectly Clear Lab, like creating a preset or creating a channel. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and please let us know if you have any questions or comments. You can always contact us at info at Have a great day.